Hey guys and assalamualaikum Welcome back to Box of Tech for another video So today we will be unboxing Malaysia's entry level king of smartphones Which is the C3 by Realme And Realme is by Oppo That's a fun fact So what makes this Malaysia's king of entry level smartphones With the budget of 500 ringgit Because it has one of the latest chipsets from MediaTek Which is the Helio G70 so it's encountered as a budget gaming smartphone and secondly it has a 5000 mAh massive battery where you can have a time of 30 days or 727.7 hours of standby mode and 10.6 hours of PUBG Mobile non-stop so maybe you gamers out there with a tight budget this is a great phone for you and it has a 6.5 inch HD plus full screen and the screen to bottom ratio has 89.9% so that screen is massive and last but not the least you have an AI triple camera setup with a main 12 megapixel camera so without further ado before we unbox the phone let's see what's on the box so on the box like most latest realme smartphone packagings it says the model here c3 and the branding realme on the sides realme c3 on the top you have the realme logo and on the bottom you have nothing and on the back you can see the specs and down here so i took the version of 3 gigs of ram and 32 gigs memory in the cover blazing red and you have another color option which is frozen blue and also has a sunrise design just like the 5i just the point of the sunrise is not up from the bottom like the 5i from the top on the c3 so without further ado let's unbox the phone so firstly what when you open the box you'll see the instruction insert which says hey welcome to realme family and the branding realme so inside here it's thin so for sure it doesn't have a case inside so as we open up it has the quick guide and the important information guide next here you have the sim tool and it says let's embrace a new journey and that's all Next, we have the smartphone itself in all shine and glory. We'll put that aside first. And inside here, strangely, but no earphones. Well, actually, most Android budget smartphones doesn't include earphones in the box nowadays. So you have your USB to micro USB cable. Imagine if it was USB-C, that would be cool. And you have the three pin power brick as we live in malaysia it's three pin and we have a 10 watt power brick as you know the iphone 11 when you get it brand new from the apple store it only has five watts but for the 11 pro and the 11 pro max there you can get 18 watt fast charging through usb-c to lightning so as we can see that's all we have in the box so now we'll focus up to the phone so here's the phone let's unwrap the phone first so i'll show you guys the back first in three two one it's very beautiful very premium i can say for a 500 ringgit phone the design is really cool and the triple camera that's just blowing out my mind and it also has a fingerprint scanner which also supports face recognition on the screen so the fingerprint only can scan your finger can unlock the phone with your finger only on 0 0.27 seconds which is called rapid fingerprint sensor and here you have face recognition so first let's see what's on the phone so first you can see the 6.5 inch drop full screen hd plus not full hd but 
it's pretty decent though so on the right side you have the power button on the top you have nothing on the top it doesn't have an IR blaster like most Android smartphones and on the left side you have the SIM card so it has a dual SIM support which is nano SIM and a micro SD which is expandable up to 256 GB expandable storage and that is huge so then you have the volume buttons below you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack dual mics and your micro usb port and last but not least your mono speakers on the back you have your triple camera setup which includes your 12 megapixel main camera a 2 megapixel 4 centimeter macro lens and a 2 megapixel portrait lens and guess what you can actually take portrait pictures from your front camera and that is really cool and also on the screen there's already a screen protector not tempered glass but screen protector which is already pre-installed by realme before sealed and you have your fingerprint sensor and you have the branding realme so that's all for today thank you so much for watching see you guys again make sure to subscribe and one more thing to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers make sure to support me again see you guys again and goodbye